let's bring this back home so uh, if you add two weapons each of them has four actions you're only going to be getting the first two actions okay one way to do this kind of smooth is to actually reorganize a little bit how this will work so we're going to assign right bumper right trigger then right uh, left bumper left trigger okay and none which we do not use so the reason for this is so that we can basically do a for loop and just get only the first two okay so close that you're going to have to reset everything you have for the attack inputs which is likely not that much because we are we only have two weapons we only have these two so we have right bumper I'm just going to change this to right trigger okay then we're going to go under here on our weapon item so here's what we can do we're going to say steps it will start as two if first of all this is the left weapon we need to be checking for on the inventory manager is actually why even do this on the inventory manager we, we can just pass all of this right here so public bull public void load weapon item item bull is left okay then in the controller just copy all of this oh we do have the copy item action container though mm, that's a little bit of a bummer anyway so maybe we just don't do that here but what i want to do is public bull is left empty and in this case empty means if left item is unarmed is right empty right item is unarmed okay so on the controller okay so is left then we need to know on the inventor manager is if right is empty then steps will be will be added plus two else else well this is kind of stupid to be honest because because we every time we're changing a weapon we need to update the entire list so yeah this is kind of stupid so let's think of this again so we have a load item we need to load the new items so here's what we're going to do i guess hmm. well okay this will work as well but Anyway, okay, let's try this then and we'll see. If inventor manager is left empty, steps by two and I equals steps. Okay, now the only case that this might not work is if I is greater than weapon item dot item actions dot count or dot length minus one then simply break this okay the item doesn't have enough actions to add okay so now if either the left or the right is empty it should update the entire action container with just the correct values okay it's not going to solve all of our problems however and we'll see why in a bit First of all, let's go under the empty, under the announce, and let's create four of these. Uh, 
Light Dumper, uh, light, uh, Left Dumper. And then on your Great Sword, we're going to do the same with this. So we have Left Trigger and Left Bumper. And I'm going to say Parry 2 and Parry 3 for this one, so we know. And on the announce, I'm going to do the same thing as well. I'm going to say Kick 2, Kick 3. Okay, these animations don't exist, but... Oh, yeah, okay, so the first time we run this, this is going to be empty. So that should, that should at least return true, to be honest. Well, one easy way to fix this is on init. You can say left item equals unarmed weapon. Right item equals unarmed weapon as well. Okay, so let's select this player. And when we're switching, we have punch one and punch one. So on the next one, we get the entire actions because we have punch one, kick one, kick two, kick three, and none of them is mirrored. Okay, so if we switch this now to the great sword on the left, we have all the attacks but they are simply uh, mirrored. Okay, so you have all of them mirrored. If now I switch on the right to a weapon, we get attack one, parry one, attack one, parry. Switching this then, we get attack one, parry one. And here's the problem we, or that only is left to show. If you do have a weapon on the right hand and you do change your weapon on the left, on the unarmed hand, the right hand actions should now override the left hand unarmed. Okay. So that's only uh, the only issue we need to fix. So, when we do load the weapon, we're basically going to have to reload the current weapon you have. So, we can say, if L index is unarmed, then load the either the left weapon, so is left left weapon or left item or right item here's the thing uh, no, yeah okay yes this will only run once if i did the same check inside the load weapon then we will have a recursive operation so one weapon will be changing the next and the next and the next so with this you just say that if the index of this is unarmed then reload the other weapon now, if both of them are unarmed, then it doesn't really make any difference. Because on the left, you usually do not have, you just have the same item. So, let's select our player. Okay, we have attack one, party one. Switching to the left, yeah, that didn't work. Punch one, kick one, did, yeah, that doesn't work. Attack one by one. Okay. Let's see why then it didn't work. And I'm going to attach this in here. Yeah, I know why it didn't work. Because this needs to be the opposite. If it's the left item right now, you need to change the right item, not the left item. L switching the left item means you are switching the same item again. And obviously we don't want that. We just need 
to change the correct one. So attack one party one, attack party. And now we're not changing weapons at all. So let's see. Mm. Left, left. Game Yui. Huh. Where do we update our action then? We are load. The, we're loading the item. Is left. You're just changing the containers. You're copying them, but we never change. Yeah. Where do we change the left item? Or the right item. We don't. That's the case. Yeah. Okay. So uh, index if is left. Else left item equals L index. Right item equals and index okay now we should be able to change otherwise we were still loading the same weapon i believe now it should work correctly well technically but we always need to test either way so now we do not change okay I think this just loads the same. So if this is a null, we need the opposite, which means if this is left, then you need the right item. Yeah, so I guess the load weapon didn't work. Let's maybe remove this. Unless, yeah, okay, I see what we did there. I think we have on the load weapon on hook we are doing yeah we are assigning them here so that was pointless as well that was pointless but i guess if you do use the same weapon so load weapon on hook load weapon model unload Weapon item. Yeah, I don't know if we could change this. So, you know what? Let's just go under this. Let's enable this. But we're going to put a breakpoint over here or in here better yet and let's hit play so now using this and uh, now this doesn't even uh, work okay where oh yeah it didn't work because it's not attached so that was that Okay, so is an arm is true, then you're going to load the controller on your left. You're going to load the left weapon. Mm, no. Which means down here your weapon item, load weapon on hook is left. Is right empty else is left empty? Okay. First of all, I think I was correct with this. This needs to be the opposite way. Right item, left item. And is left now should be yeah, this is the issue. Is left should be the opposite of what you have over here.
Okay. Yep. That's it. So, okay. If I have the left weapon as an armed, it overrides with the attacks from from this, from the right weapon. If both of them are empty, then you just assign the ones from the first. If I assign the left, then I override everything. If I assign the right, I override with this. Okay, so that's it actually. Basically, have a way to switch weapons. I think we could have, yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on what I wanted to do for this. We now have a way to actually switch weapons, which allows us to create uh, some form of a basic um, inventory. We still have to fix the UI as well. Okay, but we're going to do that on the next part. So that's it for multiple weapons, changing the slots and so on and so on. We're also going to do somewhat of the same thing for the consumable items, of course, and the spells. So for now, I'll see you uh, the next time. As always, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and if you like to see more, see more videos, see more stuff, more series, and other things in general in my channel, then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making. I'll see you next time.